Hey guys, in today's Music Tech Quick Tip, I'm showing you a very bare bones app for sending MIDI to your external devices. It's called MIDI Pad 2. It starts up like this. So hit the edit button right here. First of all, you can change the rows and the dimensions. So I'm gonna trim this down to something a little more manageable. Let's just do two by two. You can give it a name if you want. And then what you just do is you click like one of the pads. So I can click pad one, give it a name, change the color of it. Is it a pad or a toggle? You can choose between a note program change or a controller change. And you can do add new action and you can add multiple things all at once. So let's say a note, a program change and a controller change all at once. So on MIDI channel two, I wanna send the note of B flat four at a velocity of 128. Keep in mind that it does go from one to 128 as opposed to zero to 127. That's just a thing with MIDI. So you might have to adjust your parameters by one. And then also I wanna send on MIDI channel three, I wanna send a program change of 56. I wanna send a controller change on MIDI channel four. I wanna send CC 51. So this will now send all three of these commands as soon as I hit this button. Let's do pad two. I'm gonna set this as a toggle. So let's just say, I'm gonna say, turn my tuner on and off. So the first time I click it, it'll send a value of one. Second time I click it, it'll send a value of 128. And when I click it, you can see it changes color from this black to the color that I assigned it to. So here's just a little demo that I made and you can save different pages as well. But I have this controlling my HX stop. It is controlling over wireless, which I'll talk to you in a minute, but I can turn on my tuner, turn off my tuner. I can load the preset ellipsis, load the preset immersion. I can go up in different modes down in different modes. I can hit foot switch three, foot switch two, and foot switch one. Very, very basic stuff and very easy to use. I do wish that there was a way to just type in the number that you're looking for. It is kind of annoying to swipe and there is no way to copy and paste. So that can be a little bit tedious, but for like a $2 app, just giving you just very basic. I mean, it's just a clean interface. It's so basic. It's just the bare bones of what you need. I figured I'd share it with you guys. So I am doing this over wireless MIDI using the Witty Jack. So be sure to check out my video on the Witty Jack. Also for my HX stop, I'm actually powering that with USB using something called the Rip Cord. So check out both of those products by clicking the link on your screen now. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this content helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more music tech quick tips like this in the future.